video clip with me. Right. Well, um, we did the, the, the Camino in Glass last July. It was beautiful, the path was beautiful, the thinking was lovely. You get into a meditative state, you're just walking at the last um, plinth with seven kilometers. But at that point last year, I was in my stride and I was sorry that it was ending. I was happy to be in the Bosque Encantado, but I was sad to be finishing the walk. I could have walked on. Now today, we did that same bit of walk and it was just as beautiful in the woods. Absolutely, really lovely. You feel as if you've just done the whole um, pilgrimage. So it's a very special experience, as all these people here testify. An article he told me first, yeah, yeah. and I said, oh, Dolly, John, they're both mad. How could they have done the walk together? And he sent me, I don't know the magazine, um, with their telephone conversation transcribed. And indeed, just before John died, they were talking about doing the Camino. Well, John was waking up, and I think it would have been just wonderful for him. But can you imagine Salvador Dali and John? Would they ever have arrived in Santiago? <laughs> This is a question to be asked. <laughs> he would have loved it. I think he would have walked on it. I think he would have had his guitar and he would have been entertaining the troops everywhere he went. <laughs> oh. That is a very, very difficult question. In A Coruña, you've got the beautiful bay where Mr. Zara lives, but that all along there is stunning. And then the countryside, on the walk is stunning, absolutely stunning. I took many photos last year uh, and made a collage of the flowers in July in all that colors. Carolina is reminding me about the food. I do not need reminding to eat it. <laughs> the food is just wonderful, yeah. I must go home quickly before I can't fit my clothes.